How was the you were last time we were talking to you about it down to the mines, the coal mine? Yes, and we went to a coal mine in Katowice, the second largest coal mine in Europe, where and they make the black diamond. Did you go down, down, down? No, they wouldn't let us down in the end, so we sort of oh. fell through. And oh, then the guy, <laughs> sort did, of fell through. Did you did you just go to the gift shop? What the fuck? <laughs> He just bought a pen made from coal. Yeah. <laughs> Bro- brought back a five kilo bag for the wife. So, fuck, did you check it in with the Ryanair flight? Five kilo bag of Polish. Twenty-five kilo bag of black diamonds. Um, when we got there, it kind of fell through. <laughs> That's brilliant. That kind of fell through. What do you mean? How could it fall it kind through? Of fell like? through. <laughs> what was the oh, issue? Yeah, so here it is, right? It's a mass dad, dad is bringing the kids to fucking Euro Disney. He thought he has it all organised. He comes back from the fucking desk. Uh, it, kind of, it kind of fell through. Not today, kids. It what kind of hell? fell through. We're not going to Euro Disney. How could that fall through like? What was the, what was the technical issues there? Because when you're organising stories from one end of the world to the other, everything seems better sometimes on paper. And when we got there... We had to go into this HR office, Human Resources office. We're all sitting around. There was six lads in I just wanted to be met by a miner who puts a fucking boot There's a light on. on his head. And he says, come on. And so we had to go in and shake hands. Nobody spoke any English. We're all sitting, sitting, sitting around the table and no English at all. And I'm looking at him and going, and he knows my what the fuck is happening here, right? Because yeah. this is shit. And and he's there. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Hello. Of course. He's, try, he's trying to make it really exciting, yeah. <laughs> and then they're going, right? And then, and then everyone goes, where is the, where is the person who speaks English? And they're just sitting there. I'm giving it yak shim ash and all that, but that's about, and then they're they, like, you were going to fuck fi- off. Finally, we had to, Finally, the miner came in in a brilliant orange jumpsuit and the big helmet on him and the big boots and he looked like a miner and he didn't speak a word of English and he just sat in and, and he just... Did smiled. anybody know what the beating was about? <laughs> <laughs> and you're just sitting there. We've come all the way to Ar- We came all the way from Ireland just to sit there. And uh, we were there going, yes, okay, now, okay. What, Hector, what, what are we, where are, are we, ready? and there was no English, so we all moved down to an area to get dressed. <laughs> Take off our boots and put on boots and put on a hat and all this crack. And then it started lashing rain and it was a wind chill factor, fucking minus five. And the mine is just cold. And then we all hopped into a little van and we went to this massive mountain of coal. It was like the size of fucking 50 houses and it was black diamond and it was lashing and it was grey. And we just stood there for about an hour. And then we were trying to go, what are we doing? <laughs> this is shit. This is shit. And I said, "Is there anyone who speaks English?" And nobody understood me. <laughs> and then I had to say, "We can't film because I can't talk to you." So then, what we tried to do was a four-way translation between oh, no. me, a girl. The a girl came down from the office who spoke a bit of English. Then she translated it to the miner, and then I translated it back to me. So I'm there going, "Can you tell me about the size of the mine?" And then you had to put it in Irish as well. It just well, didn't like. work out, Tommy. It right. didn't work out. We were so disappointed. <laughs> we, just, we said we couldn't do it because there was no English.